continuing to follow the latest developments in the crash of Delta Flight 5191. 49 people killed. Here's a Black Hawk helicopter, Black Hawk helicopter surveying uh, the scene. We know the NTSB. JLo's new song, Jenny from the Block, all about Lopez roots, about how she's still a neighborhood gal at heart. But folks from that street in New York, the Bronx section, sound more likely to give her a curb job than a blow job or blo block party. The New York Post, we're sorry about that slip up there. I have no idea how that happened, but it won't happen again. And that's your news and the G Block as Fox reports this Monday, November the 4th, 2002. And still ahead, the most watched prime time in all of cable news. Period! Yes, all right. Two. Here in the downtown area, restaurant and bar owners are concerned primarily with the rise in violent crime. In an effort to deter criminals, police plan to step up their presence in this area, and retail owners say it's... Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's this for? It's for the news. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Thank you. Uh, here we go. Three, two... Here in the downtown area, restaurant and bar owners are concerned primarily with the rise in violent crime. They say that... Seriously, guys, I'm on a deadline. We're trying to work here. I don't bother you at work. Sorry. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Three, two... Here in the downtown area, restaurant and bar owners are concerned primarily with the rise in violent crime. The deputy police chief says six officers were killed, including the district's top cock, top cock after, cop after the vehicle they were riding in was sprayed with bullets. Three other officers were hurt in the attack. And those are your latest headlines. I'm Jane Skinner. Time now to send you back to Shepard, who is live where? Just outside of Memphis. <laughs> South Carolina Gamecocks. She's a big fan. Go South Carolina. You know, Steve Spurrier's a coach there now, Janie. Do you know how I'm hard sorry, it is to, to read when everyone else in the studio is shaking with laughter at your misfortune? I know. I've, I've been there, Jane. You it's too, been worse me. for Just me many you billions of times. <laughs> wow. It's Friday, Jane. No one's watching. They're out doing things. It's just me, you, and Dorellen down in Destin. That's oh. it. We'll see it then. Yeah, that'll work. We'll look for you on YouTube there, Janie. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah. Have a good week. Central Florida, so places like Orlando, Daytona Beach, the Cape Canaveral area, Vero Beach will be getting in on the heavier rainfall, and eventually that should can. I am so sorry, Bill. Oh my God! This is what just happened. That thing was crawling on my leg. Oh, God. If that. Oh, my God. That is. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. Right at the wall for me. After the break, we're going to interview Eric Weihenmayer, who climbed the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. But. He's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. So we'll hear about that coming okay. up. Okay. As we head to the break. Uh, we'll can I find this in Arlington? Oh, good grief, yes. Oh, boy. Uh, let, let, let's see how long it is. Let's hold okay. it out. This I'll guy this is uh, probably close to five feet. Texas rat snakes are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> what the <f> <laughs> Maybe they should just gang up for a while until... <laughs> Lynch him in the back alley. Yeah. Yesterday, oh, while no! taping a television show at a Detroit area television station, Shem Beckler was rushed to an area hospital after collapsing, but was pronounced dead. A, day, a sad day for Michigan players and fans who hope the team finds that inspiration in uh, the, the death of a college football icon. Ohio State! It's going to rally them up. It's a victory here, but Ohio State... Uh, in command, quite clearly in command in this football game, 28 to 14, second half, just about ready to start. Julie, back to you. Steve Brown, you do know that you just made your debut on YouTube, right? <laughs> yeah, I, probably, but uh, after having, just having dealt with uh, a bunch of people whose sobriety is probably highly questionable, um, my patience is at an end, so 
there you go. All right, well, Steve, you should, and I've been to many sports games, and yes, it is not fun when you have people knocking into you while you're trying to do a live report. Steve Brown, nice thank you so much. Big story, some Jacksonville club and bar owners are making some noise over a new noise ordinance. The new rules limit how long and how loud outdoor music can be. Channel 4's Adam Landau is live in Jacksonville Beach with the decibel details. Adam? Well, I will show you, bitch! It, it's out here for many reasons, and it's just, that's just one of the reasons. Yeah, put that on the news. Never put For over a decade, but recently they found that controversy has come home to roost in their very own backyard. An infestation of Canadian brown finches, which is a small part... <laughs> I guess I should have seen that one coming, huh? You know, it's their country. And their country, the government ought to reflect their traditions and their history. All we expect is people to be treated with respect and there to be self, you know, self-governance in a way that tolerates differences of opinion. Yeah. Peter, are you going to ask that question with those shades on? No, I'm interested in the shade look, seriously. All right, I'll keep it then. For the viewers, there's no sun. I guess it depends on your perspective. <laughs> Touche. Following up on uh, the other Peter's question about Carl Rove. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You said you were relieved with, the out with uh, what happened yesterday. But the American public over the course of this investigation has learned a lot about what was going on in your White House that they didn't know before during that time, the way some people were trying to uh, go after Joe Wilson in some ways. I'm wondering if over the course of this investigation... All you right, so I've got my trusty stopwatch, and here they come down the hill. It looks like Ruben is in the lead, and here yeah. comes out. Oh, jeez! That was a bad idea. At Riverside Park, Rob Black, Global News.